Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wild and Mikey Gaming, Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. In the last part, we went to the Old Timey Dimension and the Gnome Dimension and fought off the Goosem, and First Dimension Super Smurfs betrayed us so we could take over the Second Dimension, and now we're headed off to the Robot Factory. Well, Blue, you're here? Uh, anybody else here? Uh, Timmy? Jimmy? And Stitch? Okay then, you guys want to join us? Okay then! So yes, joining us today are Blue, uh, Jimmy, Timmy, Cosmo, Wanda, and Stitch. Hey guys, what's up? Hi there, hello! Uh, so, I think we should go with the Platyborg and the Panda Borg. It looks like things are going to get more serious from here on out. We're sending you these OWCA agent beacons. You can use them as a gadget to call in reinforcements. So now we have these OWCA beacons that will allow us to call in OWCA agents you took the train to away. help us in combat. I heard in the last part you guys went to a uh, old black and white place. Yep. Huh. All I can think about now is the time Cosmo accidentally wished everything up into an old cartoon. Ah, oh, yeah, good times. Alright, so headed off into the minecarts. Like that one scene in the movie. Oh man, we missed it. I still can't believe First Dimension Jupiter Trips betrayed us. Great shot, Agent P. That was one in a million. <sighs> the tracks are out up ahead. Jump to that other train. Now! Oh, yeah, sometimes the, uh, the tracks on the mine cars will stop, which means we have to j jump to the next cars. I kind of lunatic would do that. Cosmo, you have to remember that second dimension Jupiter Sprint is in charge here. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of when we had to jump start our rocket. I actually remember an episode from Season 4, Tales from the Resistance, where we saw other OWCA agents from the Second Dimension got transformed into cyborgs, including Peter the Panda. Yes, and the Peter the Panda boy got away alongside Second Dimension Doofenshmirtz.
All right, let's go. I don't know. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. What, Cosmo? The, the new train was the one that was supposed to fall. Maybe it was supposed to have players that was trying to confuse them. Oh, here we go again. Yep, you see those, um, uh... Those signs, the rectangles indicate which one is about to fall. Our fall. I haven't seen this many guards since I broke out of prison. We'll need the carbonator here. Yeah, we made that last one a little too high. Hold on. I wonder if we could... Yep! Another mod chip. This makes the baseball launcher shot explode, dealing extra damage. Okay, I think this is the last one we take, and then we head off into the next level. Another train. Ah, that was almost too easy. Yep, now that we got the jump bomb on.
Here we go. Three, two, one, and jump. We've been leptons. Well, we made it. Let's see if there are any more goodies in the shop that we can get, aside from gadget chips and figures. Ah, that classic jingle. It's the other us's. Hello there, Aiken. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. Dr. Doofenshmirtz has taken over the robot factory. It's crawling with guards and full of traps. Be extra careful, Aiken. We're counting on you. How do we get in now? I really want to see the inside of a robot factory. Me too. You can't just walk in the front door. They're looking for our faces. What if we could just walk in? Yeah, I like that. That is a simple plan. Walk in. Cosmo! Walk into the robot factory. Tell me more. Was the paper about to rip? That's what it sounded like. Well, it would make sense since our Doom Schwartz is now taking control. I'm ready. That's SpongeBob's line. I shall try to be worthy of my post. Robot doesn't seem all too bright. She tends to have the skies on. This is our blaster model, our baseline robot, great at keeping the populace in line. Ooh! This is the I wish I had my camera with me. Very popular with the kids. I'm over with the kids. And this? Well, of course you know it's under here. You commissioned it. I won't spare the processors explaining it. But needless to say, the prototypes are performing excellently. You will be pleased. We are about to start mass production. In fact, why don't I take you through the rest of the factory? If you will just step on these decontamination pads. Oh, man, here's where our cover gets blown. Here we go! Well, that took no time at all. Our gadgets are doing. Oh, our baseball launcher is almost at level three. Also, something we sh probably should have shown earlier, but once a, a gadget is at level two, you get these sound chips to add silly sounds to the gadgets. And then, when at level three, you get these graphics clip chips, I mean, which can change the color of the gadget. Check out how the rest of our gadgets are doing level-wise. Huh. I guess I forgot we already upgraded it, uh, I mean leveled up the anti-gravity ray to level 3. Well, alright. Sun away! Soda. B. 
Baseball launcher is now at level four. You know what? Let's switch resistance for, for the carboneer so we can level up the gadgets much more now. Like I said, we're going to try and level up all the gadgets to their fullest. I apologize if we don't end up doing so. Got the piece. Let's go. We made it. Don't get crushed, boys! Don't worry, Wanda, we know what we're doing. our gadgets while we are undercover. Another mod chip. Let's see what we get this time. Cool, a new mod. Ah, the crash override mod. It makes our digital hacker stun one enemy with each shot. Cool. Going up. Jumping Jupiter, what is that? It's a sewer gator. And I thought only alligators and gelatin monsters lived in sewers. I wonder, is it trapped in a block of ice or trapped in gelatin because we were going through a sewer in the gelatin dimension? That Naush robot is carrying the parts we need. Let's crack it open. Gotcha. Yeah! Let's use this. Oh, rats. Rat help! Gotcha. Yeah, you know, Spyro's right. This does feel a lot like the Nicktoon Do Not games. We still need more parts. Do it. 
get these health packs. Even though the level was pretty much over at this point. We made it! Now we'll do me and second dimension me. Here we go. Now we're going to head in here. Program on this virtual floor here. Huh. You know, this reminds me of the time I wished for a, a video game that's challenging. And honestly, this does seem pretty challenging. Let me say that again. Now I remember the time I met, built the Neutronic Game Pyramid and Sheena and I went inside Ultra Lord vs. Robofiend Mega Battle. Say, uh, Stitch, didn't you have a cousin that could take over electric op objects? Or, nice you know, oh, pieces of electrical equipment? Or that, clutch! Another mod chip! Sludge, dizzy from the bad smell. Now, I might want to put on a gas mask, Phineas. All right, here we go. See how our other gadgets are doing so far in terms of level. I guess we can't head down there yet.
Give me both now, level three. Now, let's see if we can level up the digital hacker. Yeah. So we send him reinforcements too. Jermaine was right. These levels are getting harder. And longer. We're almost at 27 minutes. That's the last of the robots. So here's what we're going to do is you go to this one first, then this one, and finally, this one. Okay, here we go. We're about to install a self-destruct button. Kind of surprised the difference between that one and that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here we go. Anything new in the shop? Oh, glam rock pinky. Ugh. I don't know what that. 
that's about. But, um, yeah, since this part was kind of long, what do you say we, uh, call it here for right now? Okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I think I've, I've been here long enough. Bye bye. Well, anyways, guys, this concludes part four of Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in part five. Bye bye.